You have your store set, you've got your products in, and now you want the world to find you. Well, one of the best ways to do that is with search engine optimization. Now, we've already defined SEO in another video. In this video, I want to show you five ways to improve your store's search engine optimization and help your Equid store be found by Google, Bing, Yahoo, or any other search engine of choice. Step number one, determine what you want to be known for. Those are the key words and key descriptions that you'll use across your store and across your products. I'm on my casual men's scarf product and at the top I'm going to look at the SEO tab. When Google indexes my site and this product shows up in a search result, this is what it's going to look like. Now this information is drawn from the name and description for your product. If you have a venture plan or above, you can actually edit this information and it won't affect what people see, it'll only affect the results that Google and other search engines serve up. So if I wanted to add a phrase here, you'll note that it's going to show up in the search result description, but it's not going to be part of the description for my page. Once again, this is for venture plans and above. Now, one caution here, you should limit your page titles to 55 characters. And although the character limit here is 400, you should keep the meta description to around 160 characters so that Google and other search engines will display the description in its entirety. Now, finding your keywords is a matter of knowing your own store, your customers, and seeing what's going on in the world around you. If I do a search for scarves, well, I'm going to see Nordstrom, Amazon, of course, Target, Macy's, Maurice's, Chico's, and other stores. But what I'm gonna also look for is, what are people searching for that are related to the word scarves? So, silk scarves. If I have silk scarves in my store, well then, that's a phrase I should key in on. Beautiful scarves online, scarves for men, and more. When you're working on the SEO information, remember, you're not just writing for bots, you're writing for people as well. So make it as helpful and inf as informative as possible using your keywords throughout. Number two, get verified on Google Search Console. Let me demonstrate using the instant site, but the process is the same for a store that you've embedded on your own website. My instant site URL is mytrainingsite.company.site. I'm gonna click continue. It's gonna check the verification and it's going to ask me to upload this file, which of course I can't do at Equid because I don't have access to the underlying file structure of my store. However, I can add an HTML tag. So I will copy that HTML tag, head over to my store, go to website and SEO, and click on header meta tags and site verification. Click add code, paste, and save. Once that header meta tag and site verification code has been entered, I head back over and click verify. And my site ownership has been verified. I'm now able to go ahead and add a site map and look at my Google search results. The next step is to add the site map as I just mentioned. Now, of course, again, if your store is embedded in a website, you'll create that map in your own site software. However, the instant store comes with a sitemap pre-built. I'll copy that sitemap URL, head back over and click on sitemaps. I'll paste that URL in and click submit. And Google is now ready to search my entire store and index it. So I'll start showing up in the search results. Now, this takes weeks, and as you work on SEO for your store, it's going to take quite a bit of time for you to see results. And so here are two more steps that you can take to build up your SEO. Whether you're using the Instant Store or you've embedded your store in another website, you really need to make the store shine. Now, obviously here, I'm on my Instant Store, and it hasn't been edited at all, except I've added a logo. 
The first thing I need to do is update the headline, update the description, update the background to make these things meaningful. And then I'm going to go through all of the site sections, including my company's mission statement, add some testimonials, add the location information, the contact information, and my business hours. I can even rearrange these sections to make my instant store be as SEO friendly as possible. Once again, all of these different areas of your website should use your keywords liberally, but not over the top. You want it to sound natural and helpful at the same time for the people who are coming to your site. One of the great things Equid provides is social links. They'll appear on all of your products and on your instant store as well. If you've embedded your store on your own website, well, none of this appears on its own. You'll need to make sure that you add these kinds of pages to your website so that Google can index all of those pages as well and include your store in people's search results. One last thing for my instant store is I need to allow search engines to index my instant site. And of course, if you've embedded your store on your own website, well, you'll need to check your own site software for any indexing software your site may provide. Finally, get social. Equid can connect your online store to Facebook, Instagram, Facebook Messenger, Google Shopping, eBay, and Amazon. So get social and make sure your store is able to be found everywhere that you want it to be. And so five ways to improve search engine optimization with Equid. Determine what you want to be known for and use those keywords liberally throughout your categories and your products. Make sure you get verified on Google Search Console and submit a sitemap. Make sure your store or site is search engine friendly with testimonials, a good about page, directions, Google map and social links. And finally, use your store on any one of a number of social platforms and make sure you're promoting your store across every social platform you can. All right, one last thing. Equid has provided a number of excellent search engine optimization articles for you, including improving SEO for your Equid store, checking your store indexing, submitting a sitemap to Google, importing custom meta tags, and more. I'd encourage you to check these out at the link on the screen.